Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad, and today I wanted to talk about when you change your origin location, uh, the effect that it has on your parts uh, toolpath, and how to uh, update your toolpath so that it displays and cuts where it should. So here we have a part uh, with a couple of different machining features on it, and if you notice, my origin is in this back corner here. Now. Sometimes you need to change where your zero location is, and that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and edit origin, and then I'll click on my new location and choose OK. Now at first, it doesn't really look like anything has changed, but when you come up into the simulation, you're going to notice all of a sudden your toolpath has shifted and the toolpath correlates with the origin location. So you can see here the toolpath is no longer displaying on the part here. Uh, another uh, place where you'll see it is if you save your file and close the file, when you open it back up, you'll notice that the toolpath is no longer in the, the position. It's no longer where it should be on the part because what you've done is you've moved your origin and all the toolpath comes along with it. Now, uh, this can be pretty simple to uh, update what you need to do is go back into your cam tree and for each of these features here see we can if we just uh, compute the toolpath you're gonna see nothing's happened so it's not updated yet so what we need to do is update the relationship between where the zero is and the geometry and the way you do that is you go to geometry you right click reselect you reselect the geometry you're working with you right click OK and then you compute your toolpath and now you can see the drill holes moved over to where they needed to be. I'm going to repeat this process for each of my features here. So I'm just going to go down the list, repeat the process, and then once I'm done reselecting and recomputing uh, all of my features here, you'll see that the toolpath now uh, not only displays but will machine in the correct location. Um, one little caveat, uh, when you do reselect geometry, uh, your pick locations uh, can be lost. So you'll notice in this example here, what I did is I used the, the contour menu to uh, default the start location. Uh, that way when I reselect, I didn't need to uh, pick the start location again. Uh, nice little trick that you'll learn from Soren uh, if you attend one of the seminars. Uh, other than that, if you have any feedback or comments, please reply back to the thread, the Facebook or YouTube. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.